This is a lesson about elapsed time and how to calculate elapsed time. It is very important that you must always remember that in one hour there are 60 minutes and that in one minute there are 60 seconds. Because when we are working with uh, conversions and we are doing it with time, it is very important that it must be done in terms of these numbers. We are going to do an example where we are going to calculate elapsed time. Look at the following example. Sarah goes to town and arrives at 10.45 a.m. She leaves town at 13.20. How long did Sarah spend in town? Now it's obvious that Sarah came at 10.45 in the morning to town and she left at 13.20. In other words, that was afternoon, after 12 o'clock that she left. How are we going to calculate the elapsed time? In this example now, we are going to calculate how long actually is Sarah now spending time. What we do is we write down the later time. The later time in this case is 20 minutes past 1. And then we subtract from it the earlier time, which is in this case 10.45 a.m. So 10.45 in the morning. Here I now have my hours and here I have my minutes. If I want to subtract now the 5 from the 0, I see I'm not able to do that. I can go and borrow maybe one there, but then 45 cannot be subtracted from 20. So what do we do in this case? We are going to go and we are going to borrow here from the hours. We are going to borrow one hour so that this will become 12 hours. But now, when I bring that one hour to minutes, the moment it comes this side, I must remember that one hour is 60 minutes. So, although I'm bringing one hour, when I convert it to minutes, it is 60 minutes. So, I'm bringing 60 minutes, I'm having 20 minutes, so if I add the two, I have all in all 80 minutes. And now it's relatively easy to subtract the 45. If I subtract the 45 from the 80, what do I get? Yes, I get 35. And if I subtract the 10 now from the 12, I simply get 2. Meaning that Sarah spent 2 hours and 35 minutes in town. Let us look at a second example. In this example, we are now going to go a little bit further. We are not just going to talk about hours and minutes. We are also going to bring seconds into this example. It takes Tapelo 3 hours, 4 minutes and 12 seconds to complete his homework. Sophie takes 2 hours, 50 minutes and 25 seconds to complete hers. How much longer does it take Tapalu to complete his homework? If you compare, you will see that the Tapalu takes 3 hours, Sophie 2 hours. Let us take the, ti the longer time and we write it first. We are going to first write the 3 hours and remember we always use 2 digits when we write. So when we write the 4 minutes, we are not going to write just a 4, we are going to write 0, 4. Okay? This 0 doesn't have any value in this case, but it will make our calculations for us easier. And finally, 12 seconds. Now I can write the shorter time right below it. Sophie takes 2 hours, which I can write as 2, 50 minutes, can you see why was it important to write 04? Because my 50 is having two digits, it is now just better to see that the 4 is smaller than the 50. And then finally, 25 seconds. If I want to subtract now, I'm starting for the, from the right, and I want to subtract 25 from 12, which is not possible because 12 is smaller than 25. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move over to the minutes, and I'm going to borrow from the minutes 
one whole minute. If I borrow one whole minute, the four, the four minutes become only three minutes. And I take over to my seconds one whole minute. But remember, one minute is 60 seconds. So what I'm bringing over is not just one, I'm bringing over 60. And now if I take the 60 and I add the 12 that I'm having, my total amount of seconds is 72 seconds. If I subtract now 25 from 72, what will I get? You can work it on your calculator or you can do it um, manually where I say 5 from 2 cannot, 5 from 12 is 7 and now 2 from 6 is 4. But use your calculator. If I now want to subtract my minutes, I am again facing a problem. Since 3 is smaller than 50, I cannot subtract the 50 from the 3. So once again, I'm going to borrow. But when I borrow, I'm going to borrow from the hours. So when I borrow from the hours, one hour, I'm going to take one of the hours, and here it will become only 2. When I take my hours over 2 minutes, it's very important that you must remember that one hour is the same as 60 minutes. So what I take over, in fact, is 60 minutes. But I already have three minutes here. So this three minutes now becomes 60 plus 3, 63 minutes. If I subtract now the 50 from the 63, I can say 0 from 3 is 3, 5 from 6 is 1. So the time that is the difference between 3 hours, 4 minutes and 12 seconds and 2 hours, 50 minutes and 25 seconds is 13 minutes and 47 seconds. You are allowed to write 0, 0, but it's not necessary. You can just write 13 minutes, 47 seconds since there are 0 hours. Okay, so to summarize... It is very important that when we calculate elapsed time that we must remember that every time that we are going to borrow from one of the other amounts, what is the conversion factor? One minute is 60 seconds, one hour is 60 minutes. And that is the end of our lesson about elapsed time.